I have a very interesting question from Dave Crew. Uh, Robbie, I have several audio books on CD that I would like to rip to OGG or MP3. What kind of naming scheme would you recommend? I want to keep hmm. every file in order so I can start the book and it will just play from start to end. Also, what rate would you recommend ripping it considering it's only speech? Hmm. That's definitely an interesting question. Mm -hmm. We're not asking about how to rip or you know what program to use. We're just how would we scheme. name this this stuff? Mm -hmm. And it's a it's a good question because mm -hmm. you've got these audiobooks on CD, and what will happen if if you just rip them and and don't name them appropriately? Uh, you could put them in your MP3 player and hit play, and you've got chapter one, mm -hmm. chapter six, mm -hmm. chapter two, mm -hmm. chapter four, and you can't listen to that because it's all over the place. Not on random, but it's it, your MP3 player might not know what order to play them in. Mm -hmm. So. The trick is, is remember that everything is quite often alphabetical. So w the best naming algorithm would be to start with uh, numbers and always uh, take into account, you know, if I'm going to have 100 files, I need to start with 001. Uh, that's going to be the, the start of the file name. And then from there, it's got to be... Um, it's got to be a name that's going to match each file. So let's say that the audiobook is, you know, whatever the name of the book is. So 001 space dash space the book dot mp3. 002 space dash space the book dot mp3. So make sure that they're named that way. And remember that some systems are going to be case sensitive because they're going to be based on Linux. Your mp3 player could have case sensitivity as well. So that's the file naming algorithm that I would uh, think of. It, it always start with the number and, uh, and go from there and make sure that they match. But then you also have to think about the ID, ID3 tags because a lot of MP3 players are going to actually sort by the tags. So there's, there are hidden fields in the MP3 file that actually tell it the track number. So if you're ripping from a CD that has 10 tracks, okay, so those could be some chapters, and you rip those, and it's got, you know, and the ID3 tag says that this is track one, track two, all the way up to ten, right? So then if you rip the second CD of a two CD audiobook, you're back to the system tells it that the ID3 is track one, track two, track three. So what can happen then is your MP3 player plays the first track off of CD1 and then the first track off of CD2. So you've got chapter one and chapter 11 play in sequence. And then you've got chapter 2 and chapter 12 that play like that. So make sure you also look at the ID3 tags. There, There's some uh, great tools in Linux. Uh, does he, did he mention what he's using? I'm going to assume that you're on Linux because you got to watch in my show. <laughs> and we're predominantly Linux. I'm proud to be so. This is Synaptic Package Manager. I've done a search for ID3 and you'll see that a couple of different tools have come up. Uh, ID3 tool, a simple and complete editor for ID3 tags and MP3 files. So that could be a, a good starting place, for sure.